sophomore from LSC. LSC! LSC! The poem is called The Tribulations of the Sky, Moon, Earth, and Water. Oh my God. The sky so pale to cry, drowning the poor brittle trees, snapping the branches from their trunks, apologizing them for lightning. She wished to go back to the universe, to go beyond the layers of the atmosphere and hug the sun. The sky missed the sun more than the universe missed solitude, then more its missed meaning than the trees missed their branches. For sky knew it when they were young, before time and loss fabricated itself into an idea, when sky was still space, and space is still, space is still bare, desolate, empty. They used to play tag in the backyard of light years, gleefully screaming into existence of galaxies, but never hide and seek. For hiding from sky was futile. But sun never missed sky, for sky had left sun willingly for earth. Tiny and green, earth, earth a seed in the vast space of oak trees will never be as bright as sun, never as big, never as important. Earth, one in a billion earth, engulfing sky in its atmosphere and moon in its orbit. The earth had been eaten for the moon, gravity its apple, the earth its serpent. The moon, the weary traveler, finally found the release of responsibility. Resting her feet in the stream of gravity, but Earth's gravity turned into chains, the stream of roaring river. Mm. The moon forces in the muddy banks of Earth, the tide rushing over her body, reaching past her mouth, but never her nose. So she never drowned, never lived, never roamed, never left. The moon, longing for Mother Earth, the universe, made home at the river bank. Earth wanted to hold on to the one thing she could cherish. For even without freedom, moon comforted earth in ways water could not. Always held earth closer than the sky wanted to. So, she, so earth could not let moon go. She could not build that dam, could not plant the trees in the bank, and could not unchain moon. Water had been tired since the days the stars started to form. What is tired was the only time he could briefly collide with his mother earth. To give her his pre presence, the waves against the sand. But water was tired and wish to stop moving, to stay still to sleep. But moon would only move him further away, pushing him away and pulling him back, tail eating snake for as long as there are still trees. For closeness is impossible when you can't touch. Moon and water trapped in the dance of light years, agreeing to be in each other's presence, to never leave each other and always stay, for even if closeness was impossible, companionship was not. The moon trapped in its earth gravity and water's love, earth's love trapped in its hate and selfishness. The water couldn't sleep and the sky couldn't hug the sun. The tribulations of the sky, moon, earth, and water. Thank you.